A little while ago, Eric Geringer and I had a wonderful conversation with this year's J.C. Kenefick Award winner. Recall that award is a safety award. It's the highest honor we have at Union Pacific for an individual. Every year, it's such an honor to be able to present that award at the Leadership Conference. And every year, that winner talks about how they're just representing a team. It's not about them. It's about what the team has accomplished. That's so rewarding and fulfilling. And every year, the audience gives them a standing ovation, which is really moving. It's my, one of my favorite parts of the, of the whole conference. Well, this year is virtual. And because of that, we're gonna have about two times the number that are gonna be able to see this, this process of giving the award. Uh, so that's a fantastic news. And this year's winner is as uh, deserving as any year. Uh, that I've seen. So please join me in congratulating and celebrating this year's J.C. Kenefick Award winner. It's a big deal and I hope you enjoy it. I'd, I'd like to announce our 2020 winner is Wade Wild. Uh, Wade's a locomotive engineer off of our Rocky Mountain Service Unit. He's put in 16 years of proud service. Uh, he's been obviously actively very involved in TSC and at this point, Wade, I'd really like to turn it over to you to tell us about your involvement and uh, what you do on a big daily basis to make our teams uh, even safer than they are. This, this is a this is a great honor, and I'm super proud to be the recipient of the of the Canafic Award this year. Um, and I want to thank my team. I want to take thank the Total Safety Culture process that has allowed me to go out and have that peer to peer engagement with our peers from our general manager all the way down to our uh, people in the field, you know, doing the work, switching the cars, moving the freight. They're second to none, and I'm very proud to be part of that team. I, I wish we could give this award to all of them, and I understand that it's gotta go to somebody, but I just wanna, I want them to know that that uh, I'm thinking about them, and, it, and it's their hard work that, that got us to, you know, where we're at today. Wade, when, when we started this conversation earlier today, uh, you, you know, it was very apparent that team is important to you, family is important to you. Uh, talk to us a little bit, almost every award winner, I, I think literally every award winner I've ever run across uh, kind of de demurs and says, you know, this is a team award. It's, it's, I'm just the representative of something that's much bigger. And you mentioned total safety culture. Can you talk to us a little bit about how total safety culture comes alive in your work unit and across the Rocky Mountain service unit and how the team carries that ball? So one of, one of our biggest achievements on the Rocky Mountain service unit with, with our total safety pro culture program was that we, we had over 90,000 plus uh, observations on our service unit. And that was a 64% increase over 2019. Wait, I'm sorry. Ninety thousand observations is an impressive number. That's huge. Yeah, it is a team effort, and um, being out there every day, engaging with our peers, and and reminding them the importance of, of safety is is really what drives me to to do what I do. Wade, what what made you raise your hand in the first place and get involved in TSC, and then ultimately be a leader? I just seen the importance of, of reminding one another of, about being safe. Cause you know, we're out there switching cars, we're taking shoves, and, you know, it's not always ideal working conditions. And just to remind one another to not take that shortcut because oftentimes we don't think about our consequences of, of that choice, right? To take a shortcut. The way, just one question, you've talked a, a lot about how you mentor people. For everybody who's gonna get the opportunity to see this, can you elaborate on you know, when you think about mentoring people, like, how do you do that so successfully? Being available, Eric, just, you know, answering the phone, showing up when people need your help, being out there every day, engaging with, with the peers, the management team, uh, the union officers, which, I mean, they're all great on support group to, to assist in what we do through total safety culture. Amen. Wade, we are so proud of you and, and the fact that you represent your team in Ogden, the Rocky Mountain Service Unit, the entirety of Union Pacific employees, and what safety means to us and how we work together and rely on each other uh, to run a safe railroad, 
to reduce our injuries and our incidents to zero ultimately and uh, to support each other in, in building America. You're, you're a perfect example. You're a perfect torchbearer for all of us. Thank you. As Lance pointed out, we wish we were doing this in person, but uh, we wanted to make sure that you were aware that, that <clears throat> we've had this award for you. And it's been inscribed on the front with our 2020 uh, Kennefake Award winner. And it represents hopefully for, for you and for your team, all the effort that you put forward to have so much success. Uh, I'd also point out that like any railroader, it's, it's never about the individual railroader. Our families uh, assist us and help us and support us. And so as a effort of recognition also towards your wife, Lindsay, you'll also be receiving this and uh, we'll put them in the mail. We'll make sure that uh, you get them as quickly as possible. And we hope that you will show them with a great pride because you do truly represent what it means to be focused on safety and deliver solid safety. Thank you again, Wade. Congratulations. Well, thank you.